Hello everyone. We're back with Sherlock Holmes. Yes. When last we left, we were going down into a cellar dungeon type situation. We're going down here. Is there anything else we need? Let's go, Watson. Oh, it is awfully dark. Oh, we have a lantern. Okay. How do we use the lantern? God, God, Holmes, where are we? Tread lightly, Watson. This place seems alive and watchful. Oh, geez, I'm Watson. All right, I guess we need to click them in these symbols. These, these, we need to click the symbols in these orders. That's what I'm trying to say. So it looks like a bird, an eye, a skull, and an E. Okay. I don't see anything that looks like that. Okay, which is this will have to do with anything. So confusion. Get out the way, man. Okay, I'm, I'm convinced this is the bird. So let's unclip these. Move. Okay. So the bird. This looks like it could be part of the eyeball. And the skull... Maybe. 
maybe that? Yeah. There's a body over there. Watson. A box full of pendants in the shape of a pelican. These are brothers to the one found at the Nepali's house. Quite useless. These trinkets are nothing but charming decoys. But they're charming. Well, that's horrifying. Let's have a chat. boxes and here is one that still bears a label it is in the shape of a flower which appears to be edelweiss and it is black how remarkable they are not common i must take the contents of this box to baker street for a more thorough analysis okay. mm, that smell this water contains a strong opiate The left sleeve of this costume bears slight traces of blood, and here, the pocket is pierced. Aha! There appear to be papers inside. For you, we shall search the world. Pennsylvania Lane, Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. What a horror! This man was bound with rope shortly before his death. This man fought hard before his tragic end. The dreadful looking broken statuette reveals much about his terrible struggle. This message is engraved in some language unknown to me. I must make a copy of this message before the police arrive. A herd of buffalo could not leave a greater mess than the local constabulary. This message is engraved in some language unknown to me. I must make a copy of this message before the police arrive. Uh right, right, right. Okay, what do I have? I need paper. This should prove useful. Maybe done it on the other side without the words. Excellent, a perfect copy of those symbols. Bravo, Holmes. It's good to have a hype man. Watson got. Did he get eaten? God, I hope so. Oh, 
There you are. You're still alive. He is, though. <laughs> All right, so we got to go back home and check. Do we do we talk to this person? Because we found more of those little things. Petro, get your car. Do you, whatever you say, lady. I need a taxi. How do I get out of this place? Have you found anything of importance, sir? Okay, I don't need you for anything. Doubt I need to be down here for anything. Do I swim back home? What do I do? That boat is unusable. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I wasn't done at, in the dungeon. All right, come on, Watson. Let's go back to the dungeon. Maybe I wasn't done there. I'm just rushing to get things done. We need to take our time. Watson, these marks upon the ground tell the tale. There were repeated trips made between the place with the sailcloth and that large box. This man's right index finger is coated with dust. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. It sure is. Do I need to do something about that? This man's right index finger is co- Is there anything else I need to do? Do I look at the statue? No, he doesn't want to examine the statue. The statue scares him. This man has a small wound on his left thumb. He must have drawn that strange figure in blood on the torn passport page. Okay, okay. We're gonna observe his feetsies. And lack their other feetsies. 
about his head? What about the fact that his chest is ripped open? We don't want to look at that? Hey, I don't know what, what else do we need, Watson. I don't know what else we need. At the edges, I looked at the body. Hmm, that's me. We did. Is there something we gotta do with this? Uh... Hmm, that smell. Nope, apparently not. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, there's no way to get from here back home. So if I'm done, I should maybe automatically go back home if I'm finished so maybe I'm not finished Watson over the head with it. Spam. Can't chop up the body. Opiate, beyond all doubt. You are right, this is definitely an opiate. Holmes, could these villains be opium smugglers? By God, Watson.
cult worshipping opiate smugglers. What am I missing? What am I missing? Mm. There's got to be something. I'm trying to think. Alright, we grabbed what was in here. Steps. Do I have to investigate them? No. This is a very meticulous game. Peculiar drawing. I found a strange drawing scrawled on the dust on the floor of the secret room located in the warehouse 12. It appears to be a rectangle containing a cross. This unfortunate man must have interrupted the kidnappers while they were transferring their victims. What are you speaking about? All of the kidnapped people were kept here and from the look of things for some days. There must have been a good number of them, so they were drugged to keep them docile. Then, with the vile assistance of Riffraff, hired by Dirty Summers, they loaded these people into the missing cases from the warehouse. Last night, these poor unfortunates were loaded onto a waiting ship, their destination as yet unknown. Oh my god! Holmes! Look! Look, what am I looking at? We've already seen this. Oh, he's breathing. <laughs> sure, I couldn't take it. Let's leave this place, Watson. We can do nothing here. In light of my discoveries, I have come to the following conclusions. The kidnapped people were held for several days. There was a significant number of them. Therefore, the opium mixture was applied, which rendered them docile and easy to control. These same people were then placed in empty sail containers by dirty summers, loaded onto a ship, and according to the statements of the barman from the harbor pub, this living cargo was stowed away at night, and as recently as yesterday, the destination of these poor souls are unknown. See that this is delivered to Mr. Holmes at the Diogenes Club as quickly as possible. Do not leave without his reply, though such insistence will undoubtedly cause Mycroft some distress. What the devil are you doing, Holmes? I am sending a letter to my dear brother and including a reference to the strange markings I found on the temple stones. Perhaps he can make something of them. Watson, I must know what was in the metal boxes that we found in this strange temple. Nothing. Nothing.
we get going on here? And there, it is done. It is done. This is a very fine powder. Nothing. I mean nothing. Perhaps if I apply heat? Uh, sure, apply some heat. That smell, undoubtedly a derivative of opium and morphine. This is the same compound on the ball found at Stenick's place. How goes it, Holmes? What is the result of your analysis? Without question, this is clearly a derivative of opiate. Something still troubles me, though. The facts indicate this substance must have been used in large quantities. But no English druggist could provide such an amount. Far too risky. And I do not believe British customs would allow such a large quantity to pass through unremarked. Well, I am convinced of quite the opposite, Holmes. How can that be, Watson? Explain your reasoning. Please remember that, as a doctor, I am accustomed to the use of various compounds, including powerful derivatives such as distilled opiates. Those imported from the continent enjoy a special status with British customs, who do not bother the shipments and take little note of the quantities inside. Such shipments are easily identified by their labels. They always bear the identifying mark of the particular medical academy within that country which has an agreement with our own governing academy. Though I can't determine the precise country of origin, I would swear the label scrap left on this crate is one such as this. Doctor, I will never get to the end of your possibilities. You have solved this little riddle for us. Quickly, and waste no time, we must get ourselves to the custom inspector's office at the harbour. What, now? Can't it wait for our tea? Oh, coming, Holmes. You are my hype man. Be hype. Where exactly am I going? I guess there. Uh, okay. Sir, did you find what you were looking for? Yes, and no. Tell me, where can I find the customs agent? The man's name is Beddoes, and at this time of day, you'll likely find him on the pier near a ship. Thank you. You have been most helpful. Pleasure to be of service, sir. How about you buy something from the man? Buy a ship. Alright, well... There's a ship. Hey ho! You have an ugly ship. I'm just running away from Watson at this point. Food is important.
There's some more ships. Where do I go? Where do I go? Is it this house right here? No. and you're giving me bedroom eyes. Customs. It says customs over chair. Riley, the child came and said that Sandra was giving birth and that she claims me to be the father. The boat is clear. You'll easily find the registers not far away. Let us hope that these registers contain what we need. They must be here somewhere. Aha, these must be the registers. This one concerns special imports. Hmm, nothing definite or comprehensible here. All that they mention is that these goods were stored in Warehouse 16. I see nothing further of interest here. Best to leave these ledgers as we found them. Okay, dokie, pokey. 16 was over here. I was just there. They were going on strike. The iron boxes were stored here. A careful search of the place might reveal some valuable evidence. What? I see no way of opening this door. Filthy tar, my shoes are thick with it. Hold on, Watson. These tra Oh, I shut him up. I shouldn't have shut him up. the key. Why can't I measure those feet? Why can't I? Why can't I use the measurement on the feet? Do do do.
The right shoe is missing a nail. Ah, Watson, our case would have been better served if I had applied the intelligence God granted me. If you ever have a mind to chronicle this adventure, I fear your readers will be much disappointed. I should have examined that area of the warehouses with more care, because this footstep is similar to those found at Stenix. We have only to follow to learn where they lead. Yep. Hold on, Watson. These tr Goodness gracious, I know I have to do something with this. Whatever it is, it's not cooperating with me. The size is there undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also <laughs> hard sold. Is that it? Is that all I gotta do with you? I got a key. Let's see. Items. Key. Just says key. I see no way of opening this door. It's not the key to that door. I smell food. Someone's cooking. There's a door over a chair. Track. Hello, anybody here? Here is a tab. This one is less damaged. Excellent. We now know the source of these illicit goods. Watson, we shall now return to Baker Street. There is much to be done. Uh, how do we return? So the, oh, we do this. Have we received any word from Mycroft? It seems to me there is a letter on the table for you. Perhaps it is from Mycroft. Sherlock, the Northwood Agency is based in Boston, Massachusetts, America. They engage in a wide variety of confidential investigations, but generally they are regarded as specialists in international searches for missing people of, or works of art. They have a solid reputation built upon an outstanding record of successful results. Amos Colby was employed in Europe as one of their operatives and he corresponds to the description you gave. Unfortunately, the details of his last case were confidential. As for now, I have included an approximate translation of the characters that you discovered, though it is a rough, and I must admit, rather enigmatic. Enigmatic. That 
that your grubs go through the ether, stars like maggot in the fruit. Wait for your awakening to honor you. Light of Abyss, he is the one that you chose to show us the beauty of deep blackness. Light of Abyss, he is the one who carries your mark on the body. The, he became one of yours. Light of Abyss, for his call, depths, answers, and we shall answer in your name. Light of Abyss, his body is seaweed, his body is octopus, his voice is your voice. Let the dream and the return of the great be fulfilled. So, the poor devil who lay under this warehouse was indeed the owner of the passport embellished with the drawing made in blood. His thumb was gashed. He is most assuredly the one who made the drawing during his captivity. But what brought him to this place? Furthermore, if this detective agency has any standing, it rests on the reputation of its associates. They are rightly regarded as proven professionals. Therefore, this dying man's last efforts were to leave clues for those who might come after him. Remember, Watson, this man's forefinger was also coated with dust, and we found drawing drawn in that very same dust upon the floor. Exactly, Holmes. An addition symbol was there, placed within a rectangle. Let us consider the facts, Watson. A number of people were taken by force underneath Warehouse 12, drugged, and then transferred in boxes by ship to some as of yet unknown destination. For the moment, London has nothing more to tell us. These people, whoever they are, have a small advantage. We should give them no more. We must make our departure, but to what destination? Wait, Watson! I have a sudden thought. What do an Edelweiss and a rectangle containing an addition symbol signify to you? What? I don't know. Wait. Okay, so it's a place. What was the question? What do I... No, 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 no. I'm thinking flags. I suppose Switzerland. Switzerland. Switzerland, of course. Watson, we shall divide our tasks. I shall report the particulars of Mr. Colby's death, as this affair requires the utmost intact discretion. Well, I never. Thank you, I am sure. Watson, you know I'm impersonal, each man to his specialty. I rely on you to book passage for two to the continent immediately. And, Watson, see what you can learn of an institute called the Black Edelweiss and determine if it is located in Switzerland. If this place can be found, I believe it holds the answers that we seek. Now, hurry, man. The game is on. Chop, chop, Watson. Chop, chop. Hold on, Holmes, you are reading some penny dreadful. Here I thought to find you deep in some ancient news clippings, seeking similarities with our case, and yet you waste your time reading some outlandish adventure based upon some improbable hero. Beware of considering popular literature as unworthy of our interest, Watson. Besides, am I not myself considered by some of your readers as an improbable hero living out outlandish adventures? Holmes, you go too far. Let's not speak on this, Watson. I think Watson was going to punch me. This horrible statuette gives my nerves a shake, Holmes. This trip to Switzerland, <laughs> it brings back unpleasant associations, doesn't it? Watson, those events should remain where they belong, in the past. However, I will not be joining you in Switzerland. When the train arrives in Lyon, I am afraid we must part company, as I have business elsewhere that will take some time. But Holmes, 
As a doctor, your impeccable credentials will allow you to ably advance our investigation at the Black Edelweiss Institute. My presence would likely only arouse suspicion and harm our cause. I am writing the name of a Swiss policeman on this piece of paper. He is stationed at the village near the Institute and is a most reliable and capable man. Turn to him should you entertain even the slightest suspicions during your visit. And you, Holmes? As for me, Watson, I will investigate this case from the other side. Keep your wits about you, Watson. Should you witness anything out of the ordinary, no matter how trifling it seems, go immediately to the valley and ask for Superintendent Bilger. I know him. He's a trustworthy fellow and has been informed of your presence in his district. He should prove to be an able ally. Here now, this is hardly reassuring. Coachman, wait for me here. Don't go anywhere. How can I help you, mine heir? Good day, sir. I am Dr. Watson. I have just come from London and... You must see Fraulein Muller. Please, if you could, she is over there. Okay. She was so impatient to receive your visit. She has made remarkable progress. But the doctor can explain everything far better than I. Look, here she is now. My little daughter. I'm guessing this is a psychiatric facility. I should leave these good people to their reconciliation. Good day, miss. I am Dr. Watson. I believe you have word of my visit. Indeed, doctor. Your letter said you wished to speak with Dr. Gijax. I will see if he is ready to receive you. Thank you, miss. Good morning, Dr. Watson. I must say, I viewed your letter with both astonishment and pride. You want to know more about our methods of treatment in order to compare them with those applied in your country. Indeed, Doctor. I am sure that we British could learn a great deal from our colleagues on the continent. You are quite right, my dear Doctor. But this professional consultation could have been managed with greater efficiency and ease by correspondence. I'm sure you can understand my time, as is yours, is quite valuable. Pray tell, what precisely brought you to the Black Edelweiss, Dr. Watson? It is quite simple. Through some random events, I encountered a man who was a former patient of yours. His actions suggested that he was suffering from such disorders as... Good morning. I am Amos Colby from the Northwood Agency of Boston, Massachusetts. Is something wrong, Doctor? Upon my word, 
This man who claims to be from the Northwood Agency is an obvious fraud. The true Amos Colby died and was buried just a few days ago in London. I must now tell you everything. I am here because one of your staff has engaged in a dangerous trade between this institution and parties in England. Moreover, those activities are tied to a murderous sect, which... And you think that this man could be one of them? Indeed. It is entirely within reason that he is here to eliminate any traces of their criminal enterprise, if you see my meaning. Indeed I do, Doctor. Let me show you out. I, I, I trust that... Please return at this same time tomorrow, and I promise I will be entirely at your disposal. But I entreat you, please maintain complete discretion on these matters. May I depend on your cooperation? I think he's in on it. Most assuredly, but... Good morning, sir. How may I be of assistance? You can start by telling your men to all take a few steps back. Then we can have a nice friendly... Uh, very interesting. We have indications of a personality breakdown and related paranoia. I must ask you to come with me to the examination room so we can reveal your deeper problems. Okay. Do not worry, it's nothing serious. Stand where you are. Fill it with water. The doctor will have only a harmless injection to use. Several drops alone will be enough to sedate a horse. There. That's excellent. Kunz, throw him into the holding chamber. I would feel more comfortable without this costume. However, I am here and in proper place due to Watson's singular assistance. I must remember to thank him later. Let's hope he will act according to our plan. My next move is to learn if the London kidnapper has some accomplice here. The sedative still has some effect, but I will be myself soon. Oh, so I was... Holmes in the skies. Okay. That's... Lame. Whoa, I'm so high, the floor is disappearing. The nurse will return soon. I must make it appear as if I'm still here. I need something. It won't be necessary. It won't be necessary. Well, if the floor would stop shaking. Oh, finally. It won't be necessary. The nurse will return soon. I must make it appear. This should complete the illusion of my presence. For how long, I can't be sure. Yeah, okay. Closed. Tight. Did you think it'd be open? I kind of did. Okay. 
Okay. This one, this one's a little tricky. Uh, let's see, I don't quite understand. Okay, so then I should be able to put them in a sequence, four, five, six, seven, all personnel to read Dr. Blensmoth's book. When you finish with it, please leave it here for your colleagues, Dr. Gijax. Closed tight. Labor? I must hide and avoid the nurse, else he will raise an alarm, and I must find some means of neutralizing him. Perhaps I could put him to sleep somehow. I'm very sorry, my friend. I can't help you as I'm just passing by. I'm not your friend. I am Maurizio. I can promise you won't get very far if you don't set me free. My cries will bring the entire hospital on your trail. Well, my friend, I, I mean Maurizio, it looks like you have logic on your side, but I don't have the key to your cell and the door looks quite solidly built. What do you make of our dilemma? The door may be solid, but the lock is worthless. <laughs> there is a room at the end of the corridor where the repairman from the mainland stores his supplies. <laughs> I am positive there is a crowbar inside. <laughs> the key is hidden in a crack near the door. <laughs> as he's afraid of losing it. <laughs> Come back for me when you get the crowbar. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Attention, reconstruction and installation of water pipe. Dangerous, do not enter. 
Uh, we shall definitely enter. Closed tight. Guess we're not entering. Closed tight. Closed tight. I must measure them first before t I must measure them first before taking them. I just put a whole anvil in my pocket. I must measure the diameter of this pipe is 18 millimeters the diameter of this pipe the diameter of this pipe the diameter of this pipe millimeters and the diameter of this 16 millimeters why do I need to know that crazy out closed tight mm -hmm. closed tight I'll be right back dude these pipes are too large to carry more than one at a time to bring the pipes. These pipes are too large to carry more than one at a time. What ifs? I don't even know why I need the pipes. I'll be back for you, dude. Bring me the crowbar, or I'll scream and bring the entire hospital down oh on- Oh my god, dude. Here, take the crowbar. Oh, bless you. <laughs> and here you are. Greetings. Careful, you best not linger here. If they find you, they will throw you down below, into the depths, into hell. What's he doing there? Stop him, quickly. Stand where you are. Well, I guess he got caught. It seems that Maurizio finally attracted some attention. Excellent. Now the stairs are clear and I may return upstairs. I must hide and avoid the nurse, else he will raise an alarm. And I must find some mean... Alright, is this not being able to return upstairs? Closed. Tight. Apparently a lie.
closed tight. I am too obvious in my present attire and will attract unwanted attention. I must change my clothing. to go there. I am too obvious in my present attire and will attract unwanted attention. I must change my clothing. I am too obvious in my present attire and will attract unwanted attention. I must change my clothing. Closed tight. Hi. But I got keys. Closed tight. I want in the. Can I let you out? Excuse me, miss. Go away, you swine! Leave, or I'll make you bleed! Mm -hmm. Okay, yes ma'am. Closed. Tight. Alright, I guess I'm not going anywhere. to avoid attention. No, no, it can't be. It can't end like this. Is it? The game ends? I gotta do all that all over? Oh my god. Cause I didn't save. Okay, we're stopping. <laughs> we're stopping here. I have to get back up to this point. <laughs> They're making me start all over. Oh my god! I need to learn to save! That's my fault. That's my bad. Alright. Uh, we'll come back to it. Eventually. Remember to save. I, yeah, I have to remember to save. Before I do anything stupid, I need to remember to save. I'm so used to games auto-saving. Thank you for watching me play. I hope y'all are enjoying this game. I'm enjoying the game, all things considering. The fact that it's making me start all over. Stick post-it note on the computer. Yeah. Excuse me. Come back and watch me play more scary games. Bye guys!